lurkers. Here we go again. Say hi to mom. She's here. Um, here we go again, heading off into the woods. We've had another great day. Um, after, <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. It's like we have 70 degree weather, four days of torrential rain, and then another 60 degree wet day. So here we are back in the woods. See if we can find any more good stuff or coins or shotgun shells. Cause I, for some reason I like finding shotgun shells. So um, yeah, here we are. Stay tuned. Got a nice strong uh, 1920, strong high, high beat. So we're gonna dig this and see what we found. It was an old, I don't know, beer can, lid maybe. Anyway, that was it. That is a nice strong 19, but not what we were looking for. So I don't know if you can see this, but um, or hear it. <laughs> But this is giving us a nice high, not high low tone, but a loud low tone, coming in 8 or 9 or 10. So we're going to dig this and see what this is. In that we have in the last week or so, of, I don't know if you can see, but where this, where my finger is kind of pointing, is how high the river was. Um, it's starting to go down, but that's how high it was because of all the rain. And it's washing it a few bits and pieces. I found some green depression glass broken depression glass and this thing which i have no idea what this is but it looks like something mechanical um looks like, that looks like copper where i banged it it's coming through pink so it looks like copper if anybody has any idea what this might be actually it looks like it might be for cutting because those look like they kind of grind they look like they grind or something anyway if you have any idea what that might be leave a comment below let us know so a quick 10 minutes of uh, mudlarking on the banks of the river here and found another mystery piece of metal it's really heavy it feels solid but it also looks like this end kind of screws off it's like some kind of some kind of weight. I didn't find it near that other weird looking thing but it doesn't need to say they're not connected somehow so mystery metal number two. So you know what this is? Leave us a comment below. Here gave us a really big high tone and whatever it is I'm praying it's not on that massive rock right there. <laughs> and now there it is. Oh now it's further away than I thought. So whatever this is, it's kind of exciting because this was up in the 28, 30, 35, yeah that's 34. Let's see if we can pinpoint it on camera. So right here, right next to the deer poop. I'm far enough away from the rock to get me hopeful here. Alright, let's see what we got. So it said it was right here, right? Let's just hope there's not. Oh, there's so many rocks. <laughs> oh no. I can't even get an inch. Oh, there we go. I can get through it this way. Oh. Of course, the most exciting, the most exciting beep so far. Of course, it's under a giant rock. It better be worth it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Let's pull when you need them. Alright, oh there's rock number one. I swear if this is just another old beer can, I'll be oh. crying. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. oh my god, look at the size of this one. <laughs> just call me I admire your spirit. Just call me Sheila. There's another giant rock here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it better be worth it. It better be. Um, yeah. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Larkers, we're going to go in again. Oh, it's so 
saying it's fair. I'm going to go around the other side a little bit. Oh no. <laughs> Whatever it is, there's a giant massive rock right here. Ugh. I will not be deterred from finding this rusty nail. Where are you going to be next to me? Is it going to break my shovel? Mm -hmm. I said, is it going to break my shovel? Oh, oh my God. <sighs> you can turn it off and turn it back on in an hour when you're trying to stop. <laughs> Mum's going to go home, have a cup of tea. Come back in an hour. I'll still be digging at this exact same spot. Just trying to figure it out. Out of that lovely high tone. And there's a beer can or a rusty nail. Or a bow. Or a bow. That would be a bonus. This, folks, is what you call a live dig. And I hope you're finding it as exciting as I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god, we need the gym. Alright, this is mental. You know. No, 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 no. Oops. Now we go in with the pinpointer. Whew. I'll be earning that glass of wine. I bet whoever laid this rock dropped a lovely big silver dollar right underneath it. Oh! No. Yeah. Oh my god, please tell me that wasn't a nail. <laughs> a nail! No, 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 I'm not, I'm not giving up. I am not giving up. That was too high of a signal for it to be just a nail in here. It's like, how can a nail beep as a 36 and... Maybe it's a gold nail. No, then it would be a 13 <laughs> and 14 because that's where gold is. Because mm. gold is a 13 and a 14, just like the other rusty nails that are a 13 and a 14. <laughs> Sorry, folks. We had such high hopes for that signal. But now we know that I can... Uh, Mm. Dig big rocks. Mm -hmm. It's not that I'll be able to walk for the next few days. <laughs> so, here we go again. We've got a 29, 30, 31, 32. Beeps galore. Probably can't even hear me talking with so many beeps. It's either a nail, a rusty can, or a silver dollar. We're just hoping it's a silver dollar. Alright guys. Where is it? I saw it. I see it. It is a coin! Yes! We got a coin! It's a quarter! It's a silver... Oh, I think... Oh my goodness, what is this? It is a quarter... It is silver. Oh my god, is it? Yeah! Oh my god, it's a coin! It's a 1945 silver quarter. What? <laughs> Yay! I'm excited. That's cool. All right, I'll forgive you, Woods, for all those nails that you made me dig up. This is cool. I don't know if you can. Can you? Can you? Uh, where is it? It's too bright. I don't, can you see that? I don't know if you can see the date on there. 
Did that again, is a, there might be another one. I know. This is a 1945 silver quarter. There's a bit of a ding out of it, but no, it's not actually. Awesome! Awesome! Oh god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I had a feeling that was not jumping about enough all over the place for it not to be a coin. Oh, we've got some, you've got some video footage We're going to recheck the hole just to make sure it's not a you know a coin spill and there's not seven more down there. <laughs> you never know. Stay tuned. Another big high, you know big bouncy high tone here, 28, 29. So I just saw something tumbling out of the dirt from here. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's another coin. <gasps> Where's it gone? It's uh, looks like this one's a penny. Yeah, this is a penny. It's pretty grungy too. But yeah, you wanna hold on? I have a toothbrush in here somewhere. I think. Maybe this is a yeah, that's a penny. Pennies don't do well in this dirt. They get really corroded. I get my spray bottle out. Oh, it's hiding underneath that giant piece of metal. All right. See, perseverance pays off. Two hours we've been out here mudlarking in the river, found some lumps of metal that we've no idea what they are. And It's copper because it's green. All right, guys. Well, it is definitely a penny. Oh, you can see it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a penny, and it looks like it's copper, which probably means it's, uh, you know, in the early 40s. Is it? When did they start making copper pennies? I don't know. Yeah, we don't. We don't know anything. We find things, and then we find things out. <laughs> we just make it up. <laughs> We make stories up. You can't trust us English girls. Anyway, I will take this home and try and figure out um, what that is, what year that is, but that's cool. Second penny of the day. Let's recheck the hole. Okay. Without my shovel in it. <laughs> Pinpoint out and check it. It's still beeping, so maybe there's more than one coin down here. That should be awesome. Oh, yeah. What's this? What is that? Oh! <laughs> Well, that looks like... It some... looks like one of those things you oil thing. Oh yeah, car. like a... What do you call it? A dipstick? Gauge. Dipstick, that's it. That's a big dipstick if it yeah, is. It's been a trip dipstick. They're a big, big dipstick. <laughs> 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 well... Oh, this we coming out here. So that's funny. If I'd have found that before I found the coin, I yeah. might not have looked for the coin. Yeah. Let's just make sure there's nothing else in here. I don't... I think not. Okay. Right, let's do one last check. bigger than a coin. Oh, but that was a 32. 
let's uh, let me go over this side. Can you see this find? I'm not sure. It's an eyes only find. And a little, a quick side, side hustle to mud light. Can you see it? I just spotted it yet. <laughs> it's massive. I don't know if I'll be able to take this out, but I'm going to have to. It is a, it's an old pitchfork. That was an eyes only find on the riverbank. All kinds of stuff getting uncovered here. This is cool. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a wrinkle. Mum! Mum! Oh, I'm probably taking to on your death side. Or, she's doing what she did to me when I was a kid. Ignoring me. <laughs> anyway, let's see what else we found down there. So now we've got a dipstick, a couple of uh, random pieces of metal, and a pitchfork. Which, to be honest, I kind of like the pitchfork, even if it is big. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Stabbed myself in the car for that, that's great. Can you see anything, guys? Oh, not that, this looks like a bottle. Some blue glass there. Probably, it's still quite shiny, so I would imagine it's fairly modern, but it's pretty. And one of those, uh, oh, it's a drinking glass. It's got a you can see it's actually got the smooth end, so it's some kind of blue drink. Oh yeah, there's a pattern right there. Oh, to look better. Oh, there's another piece. It's really two pieces now. Any more? That side hustle just paid off. Everything else before I pack it in for the day. It's been about two hours, and my back has a little piece of metal there. I have something called axial spondyloarthritis, so my back doesn't let me, you know, go as long as I would like it to. Uh, another piece of metal. What's this? Oh, it's some kind of... Oh, it's a base of some kind of pot. Oh, I'm finding some good stuff down here. It's always good when you can get down here after a rainstorm and see what's been picked up. That's for sure. Do you see anything guys? Move down a wee bit. <laughs> a home site or some kind of structure here. Maybe it was a temporary structure for you know when they were building the merit because you can see I don't know if you can see it actually. 
So right here, where are my fingers pointing, you can see like a line of rocks. And then it almost looks like cobbles on the top. And this, this road structure kind of goes all the way down the riverbank and down to the, the bridge, or it kind of breaks up as you get closer to the bridge. But this definitely looks like some kind of temporary path. So we just, I don't know, we're just kind of spitballing, but we're wondering if when they were building the Merrick, because you can see mounds of dirt here and there. I think it's probably piles of rock that they were clearing out the way because they're very rocky here. And maybe this is what they brought the equipment in, like horse and carriage or something, because the bridge is a, a I forget the name of it. I'll have to look it up and put it on the video. But the bridge has been there since the 1880s. So there's definitely something going on here. Just got to figure out what. Hey guys, so I'm just jumping in for a second here um, just to talk a little more about the bridge. It's actually pretty cool. It was um, built by the Berlin Iron Bridge Company back in 1892, um, and it's a lenticular pony truss bridge. Um, it's currently on the National Register of Historic Places. Um, it was formerly a uh, part of the old Stamford Road that took traffic across the Ripperwam River. Ripperwam River, that is really hard to say. Um, but now, now it's just uh, the the entryway to like a walking path down by the river. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I saw this piece of green glass and I thought, oh, that's pretty. I'll go grab that. No, I won't. It is fully embedded in the tree roots here and here. It won't even budge. So yeah, that's staying right there. Yeah, this is not that. This piece of clear glass has got cut on it too. There's a ton of clear glass around here. That's wild. That's wild. I've never seen anything like that before. A rebar, a piece of rebar. Um, some kind of wire. Cool. Cool. Right, let me make my way back over here. So we're going home with a dipstick a quarter part of a pitchfork, um, unidentified, well, an unidentified penny, an aged penny, so the penny should be um, we'll be able to clean that up, hopefully get a date off of it so I can update the video. So, there's my mum, God in the equipment. It's really cool, there's a piece of really nice green glass, I was going to pick it up, yeah. but it's absolutely jammed oh. in between. Well, you weren't like that, I went, oh, it was <laughs> <laughs> She's so mean. The, the root, the glass has grown into the root, so you uh, can't even pull it out of the root. There's a big chunk, I took a video of it, you'll yeah. see it. It's very cool. Anyway, I think that's it for the day. Yep. Workers, if you enjoyed this video, uh, stay tuned because it's getting that season again. So we'll be out in the woods, traipsing around looking for yes. quarters and old nails. I think I'm just going to say I'm an old nail collector. Yeah. And then, I, you know, then I'm a winner every time I go out. <laughs> I'm a new metal detector. I've only been doing it about a year, so every trip is a learning experience. But I'm starting to get better at finding, identifying the beats and the numbers. It's a slow process, but we'll get there. Hopefully this summer we'll get, we'll have a better, a better, ex not better experience, because I think it's always a good experience, but this summer, as I've gotten more used to the machine, maybe we'll be able to find more cool stuff. So yeah, come back. Um, if you like our videos, like and subscribe and hit that bell so that you get any notifications when we put a new video up. But, um, 
Yeah, have a great Easter everybody. This is going to probably go out on Easter Sunday, so all those who celebrate, have a great time. Don't eat too much chocolate. And my mum's going to eat all the chocolate, which is hiding. <laughs> no, I can still see you. <laughs> eat all the chocolate, do whatever you want. Have a good time. And if you're not celebrating Easter, eat all the chocolate too. Alright guys, bye!